one, uh, I know it's, it looks like a uh, just a huge issue, and what well, is the best idea ever about a global problem. But I promise you it's not like that. Uh, in addition to our brilliant idea about global storage, I'm going to talk about how MOC integrated and enabled storage research by collaborators of different universities and institutions. Including the University of Stern, Tufts, IBM, Red Hat, Dell, uh, Intel, Two Sigma, State Street, Earth, and so on and so forth. So, I'm going to talk about um, the research that we have been doing, and Matt is going to talk about uh, the work that is going on to upstream. Uh, uh, Everybody is talking about MGHPC, but for us, as a storage researchers, it looks like like this. We have NISI, most is the storage exchange, that is based on server storage, and uh, serves a three requests to Rados Gateway, and usual this uh, through RBD or Rados Gateways. Uh, in MOC, we found that uh, Hard disk, low speed hard disk that is used by NACI or other high uh, capacity storage systems. In addition to uh, highly oversubscribed networks, results into low performance storage. So, this is the story of our over half a decade research to uh, serve uh, most of FIBO requests using low SSDs. Instead of a uh, back end uh, low performance uh, storage. Our first effort uh, was to create multiple RGWs with integrated SSD uh, read cache and uh, distribute this all across the data center. Uh, we call this distributed data delivery network or Ethereum. In Ethereum, these requests are automatically uh, served by local uh, SSDs. The key idea or uh, interesting research idea here was to develop a two level uh, read cache. The first layer was local SSD and the second layer is distributed. By consistent, consistent hashing, we were uh, able to enable aggregated uh, SSDs of RGWs to be used uh, as a read cache and therefore reduce the load on the back end. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so, this graph shows 10 hours workload of their Facebook trace. In the realistic uh, case, uh, we see that each end is uh, reducing the runtime by a factor of two. As Matthew discussed, uh, each end is already upstream in the set code. With each end, uh, all the write requests are going to hard disk backend storage. Our next storage, uh, our next project, D4M, introduces, uh, introduces a write tier. Uh, we install set OSDs on uh, SSDs distributed on RGWs and modify RGWs to uh, write objects first to these local SSDs and then when the objects are uh, old enough, we write them back to a uh, backend. Uh, since we are using production code, uh, we are giving the same guarantees, availability and fault tolerance as the production storage. And uh, uh, so for the users, it's just uh, uh, backends uh, like AC, but with much faster performance. Uh, as I said earlier, each VM had a simple uh, caching policy. First global SSD, then uh, distributed uh, second layer. But for Ecorem, we had this possibility of having more complex caching policies. Um, D4M has a distributed directory, which shows where is the data in the right here or in the backend. By using uh, uh, this directory, 
uh, we can have uh, and compare global value of objects instead of local value. Another uh, caching policy that we can use or be developed is uh, right bytes. By placing a small price to 32 megabyte objects, we usually use this visualization. Here, uh, small numbers are better. And as you can see, we never pass uh, with file price, never pass 20% distribution. The next project uh, was uh, Paris. Paris talks uh, to an Android framework schedule and gets the, the jobs that's from. The jobs that shows what tasks are going to be run and what it is going to be accessed. So it knows the future. By getting this information and using this information, we can pin a data in the reference directory to prevent its eviction or prefetch it into the cache when it's going to be accessed in the future. One important thing about the bar is, is that it uses a cache space, valuable cache space, uh, efficiently because it just caches objects that are in that uh, critical path instead of uh, all the objects that are accessed. Uh, this is the graph that shows a uh, TPCH benchmark running on Spark. Uh, green boxes are parties compared to MRD and CP and the two state-of-the-art uh, works. Until now, I have talked about only object storage. What about file system for visual lists? We want our, we want our data center storage to be used by all the systems. Our next project uh, is LSVD, which is about increasing the performance of visual lists. Here, we accumulate all the rights in the local SSD and then uh, uh, group them as S3 objects and then write them back to uh, object storage. Uh, here is a, an experiment uh, comparing LSVD to RBD. Uh, in uh, standard RBD, uh, as we ramp up the number of virtual disks from 1 to 32, uh, this utilization of the backend rapidly goes from 10% to 70%. Uh, the problem is that we have to write data, metadata, get and a lot of small writes are happening, which results in 12 times a rack application. With our uh, LSVD, uh, uh, while we, uh, this utilization is uh, one fifth of the load of the backend, uh, we reach higher IOPS compared to standard LSVD. So let's go back to our uh, single data center storage. We treat that a bit right cache, directory, and cards. We developing an SCD zipper layer on RGW Pro. We were able to, we are able to connect our storage uh, to Messi through S3 protocol. Uh, we also are able to deploy our storage system into open storage networks nodes or OSM nodes. And an OSM node uh, can connect to Nessie and other OSM nodes to S3. Uh, we also use S3 to connect to other public, uh, to, uh, other storages like public storage, uh, such as IBM uh, object storage or we can connect to other storage services that provide different types of uh, storage devices, like, like, as, such as K, that are getting popular. So we are here in the beginning of the path to uh, global storage. Remember I talked about, about my previous, our previous idea of global storage? So we are here. So, our uh, open research questions we have is that where is the data of the global setting? What about consistency, sharing, or security? What about network and uh, fan detection or other governments? Uh, Matt is going to talk about uh, uh, upstream of the projects that I have. Right,
Yeah, I promise this, 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 this is going to be the small end of the talk. <laughs> I'll ask you not to take it in two minutes, but okay. Um, but, but this is me. Um, and I've been fortunate enough to work uh, since about 2017 uh, with, uh, with, 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 with a great group of uh, very creative PhD students and, and, and research advisors as part of this, as, as part of collaboration um, around set object storage, which is a piece of the uh, of the puzzle that we've been discussing there. Um, and in the, course of, in, the, in the course of this, uh, the, all the research projects you already described, uh, you know, the students' researchers had to essentially uh, inject themselves into the spaghetti or, or, or <laughs> well organized uh, but, but a modular uh, code inside of our software uh, in, in ways that were not really anticipated by the authors. Um, and and, uh, and nevertheless, managed to rewrite parts of the, uh, the appropriate parts of our, of our software and able to work as optimizations and rewrites. Um, I only work with my team is doing inside the portfolio. It was Red Hat, now it's done, that's part of IBM, and the, the my team members are all uh, executing in more or less the same jobs. Um, we are, we, we are um, we're very interested in, in capitalizing on the value of that as we're using in D3N, and especially D4N. Um, it's one of the things we've been planning on doing that. Uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's by, it's by incorporating a, a unified and flexible uh, architecture for our software that allows uh, construction of, 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 of stackable backend storage targets, um, which, which means that the, the, different, the, different, the different kinds of backend for our backend for our S3, whether it's uh, the, 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 the security cluster or whether it is S3 in a cloud or some other place, uh, is, 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 easily, is easily organized. Um, we are also extending some of the capabilities of, of, of S3 in new ways. Uh, we were primarily interested in workload acceleration, and this, 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 and this, this is what I've been uh, things like Spark and others, other, other, other technologies that are, that are researched in this part of the deep, the deep one as well. Um, so, uh, we are incorporating deep brand as, as, as parts of this, 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 this flexible layers in doing, doing this stack we call Zipper. We are also uh, flexing the cache hierarchy so that we can, so that we can design different kinds of caching strategies that use different backing stories appropriate. And, and apply them to more kinds of deployments to set than the ones that people had originally targeting. We're also adding we're also new protocols, but in addition to S3 itself, uh, we, we are incorporating quick, uh, basically quick uh, variant of S3, and we're also incorporating uh, Apache Arrow Flight uh, as, as a completely different distinct uh, low latency uh, optimized protocol, and we hope to support Flight SQL um, to, to enable a very acceleration of client by. Uh, by, 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 by frameworks like, like Trino, ResDB, and, and Spark, um, we, are, we already have uh, S3 Select, which again is just simplified Amazon uh, very offload of mechanisms for S3. Um, I'll say more of this, and I'll talk a lot about that. I want to thank the people for allowing us to work with my team, myself and my team to work with, uh, with, with massive amount of collaboration, and I want to thank my team members, especially Ali Moriere, who's here, um, for, for, for being with us. Thanks very much.